Welcome back to a new episode where we will be talking about how to add images on a website. In order to add a simple image on a website, we use the IMG element. And like I said in one of the first episodes, the image element has no closing tag. So let's write down IMG and let's hit tab. Right now, you can see an image element appeared on my screen with two other things inside of it. And well, the orange things inside of it are called attributes. And attributes define additional characteristics of properties of the elements such as the source of the image, so SRC, the width, the height, and the alt. You might wonder why the width and height attribute is not automatically inserted in the image element. And that's because they are not required, but the source and the alt attributes are. What I want to do first is to start with the source, and then I want to continue on with all the other attributes on an image element. For images, I usually use a website called Unsplash. So let's go to the browser, and let's write down unsplash.com. And I'm not sure if you have ever heard of the website, but it is basically a website that provides us with free images for commercial and non-commercial purposes. In the menu bar, let's click on wallpaper. Well, you don't need to pick the same image. So if you want to choose another one, just well click on it, click on download free. And let's place it in our folder, HTML tutorial. So let's do that. And let's open HTML tutorial. Putting the image inside the HTML tutorial folder was the first step. But what good coding habits are is just to, well, right click, click on new folder, and let's call it IMG. And what we want to do is to place our image inside the image folder. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, well, right now we're not working with many images or documents. But imagine that you're working with, well, let's say 40 images, which isn't that weird, 8 HTML files, and, well, 4 different style sheets. You could imagine that it will be a total mess if you don't separate all the files. What I actually want to do as well is to, well, go inside our image folder, and I want to rename it to something easier. So, let's say banner. Let's go back to the code editor. And inside the source, we want to write down where the image is placed. And since we have placed it inside a folder called IMG, we also need to refer to that folder because our index.html is inside a different folder called HTML tutorials. So let me go back. You can see that the index.html is placed inside our root folder HTML tutorial. And we have a folder, IMG, where all images are placed. So in between the double quotes, let's write down IMG, forward slash, which means that we're going inside the folder. And then we need to write down the name of the image. And remember that we called it banner. So let's save it. Let's open the browser. Well, we don't need Unsplash anymore. Let's refresh it. And you won't see the image appear in the browser. And the reason why that is happening is that, well, we need to add the file extension to it. Right now, .html can actually find the image, but it doesn't know that it is an actual image. And as you can see on the sidebar, there is a folder called image that we just created. So let's open it. And you can see banner.jpg inside of it. So after banner in our source, Let's write down punctuation mark, JPG. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the image just appeared on our screen. The next attribute is the alt attribute. And this is a required attribute because it is used to specify the alternate text of an image. It is also pretty useful when the image is not displayed by any reason. So instead of showing nothing, a piece of text will be shown to the user. So in between the double quotes, let's write down, this is my banner. Let's save it, refresh the browser, 
and you can see that the alt attribute will not be shown because right now the image is visible so the source is overriding the alt but let's write down a typo in the banner.jpg save it refresh the browser you can see an image icon and next to it you can see the alt attribute that we created so this is my banner just appeared next to the image icon so the next attribute that I want to talk about is an attribute that is not required and it's called the title attribute and what this will do is it will provide additional information about the image so after the ending double quotes of alt let's hit space write down title set it equal to double quotes and inside the double quotes let's write down banner image save it well let's remove our typo as well save it refresh it and if i hover or keep my mouse on it you can see that a box appeared with banner image so that's our title so let's go back to the code editor and after the double quotes of title I want to talk about two more attributes and that's the height so let's write down height set it equal to double quotes and the width and let's set that equal to double quotes as well I actually do not recommend you to use the height and width right here but you should use them in CSS instead but for now since we haven't used CSS let's use it right here and what these two attributes do is specifying the width and height of an image in pixels so right after height inside the double quotes let's write down 50 pixels and let's do the same for the width as well well 50 not 58 save it refresh the browser and while well, you can see that the image is pretty small so let's change it to 250 save it and refresh the browser and well this looks way better another thing that I've actually forgot to show you is that you can use a source from an external source so let's go back to unsplash again let's click on an image instead of saving it let's say that we want to open the image in a new tab and right now you can see a source in our URL so let's click on it copy it and instead of image-banner.jpg let's paste it in right there save it let's go back to the browser let's refresh it the image that we found from our external source so image.nsplash.com just appeared on our screen but as you can see in my well code it doesn't look that good so I always recommend you to save the image place it inside of a folder and refer to the image. This was it for this episode and in the next episode I want to talk about including our CSS in our HTML so we could style our elements. And if you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button.